ready for the next step. I mean, it was senior day, it was a little emotional, and I you know, kind of had to get over that hump a little bit, but the nice thing is we get to come back on Tuesday and you know, play again here. It's emotional, obviously. Um, I was in tears prior to the game. I know mm -hmm. Bobus was too. Uh, so that was tough, but um, I mean, you just you can't let that you know affect your game, and we probably did a little bit. And, um, but just be, it, it's a little different because we're playing here on Tuesday, so it doesn't really feel like our last game. They bought in to the dream that I had to paint out for them because that dream wasn't even close to being visible when they came here. I mean, we came off a season where we had six total wins. And uh, so just painting that picture for them, getting them to understand that um, I knew how to get them there. You know, I really believe I knew how to get them there. It was a matter of putting pieces together and working them harder than they'd ever worked before and putting them in situations where they were challenged daily and that uh, knowing when to really push them and knowing when to really pull them in and hug them and love on them and, and tell them how great they are. And, uh, and I think they've just grown and matured in our program. Obviously, Katie's playing the best basketball in her senior year, but she steadily had gotten better year after year after year. But she's a player that's not ever satisfied with where she's at, you know, and I think that mentality trickles down on the rest of the players. Um, but certainly extremely proud of this group.